Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here and in this video what I'm going to do is take you through one of the most popular, if not the most popular cryptocurrency exchange and that is Binance. So I set up a brand new account here. What I'm going to do is first I'm going to show you how to deposit funds into the account. I will then take you through how to actually buy a coin, how to buy an altcoin, how to sell, how to set up your charts and look at the different views in the charts and that should be a fairly good overview for anyone who is new or anyone who has been using it for a while. Hopefully you will pick up some tips as well. So look, Binance do get involved in other things like startups and lots of other different ventures through Labs and Launchpad. I'm not gonna concentrate on any of that. This video is just going to be on the trading side. So you can see here's the new account. You can see I do not have any security set up on this, but I do urge you make sure that you set up Google Authenticator or SMS, I would say Google Authenticator, that's what I use on my main Binance account. As I said, this one is just set up for this testing, so I'm not going to waste time going in setting this up here, but you definitely should. As soon as the video is over, I'll be taking all the funds out, so it doesn't really matter to me. So first off, we will go into, you have your funds up here, so this is where you can look at the balances, deposits, withdrawals, any of your order history is here. And then the other one is hover over the little person here and then you can see your balance as well. And you can go into your account, which brings you back here, change password, all the basics kind of stuff. You get a discount in fees if you pay using BNB, which is Binance's own coin. So funds, let's go into deposit. You can see I have no deposits on this account. So click the drop down. I can deposit any coin at all. Let's actually do Ethereum. I was going to do Bitcoin, but let's do Ethereum because it should hit quicker and allow us to continue buying. So let's copy this address. I have my Exodus wallet open on another screen here. I am going to send, let's send 0.1 of an Ether, just that's all I need for this demonstration. So send, now, I've just sent some funds. You might have heard that noise. That is the exodus noise in the background. So what we should see here in a minute is the Ethereum transaction coming through. It'll probably take a little bit longer than that. I'll leave that for a minute and we'll come back to it. I will show you the charts and then we'll come back to see are the funds in and then we can trade with them. So go over to the exchange. So click on here. And it'll take us just a second. Where are we going? You can go basic or advanced. Personally, I like the advanced. I'll show you basic first, just so you can have a look at it. So you can see here on the basic view, now I don't actually use this one. I actually find the advanced view nearly easier to use than this, but everyone is different. It depends what you want. You can change up here, change the hour, whatever it is, and the hour, this is what size the candles are going to be. And then you could go for minutes as well. Normally I go at one hour, candles or one day if I'm looking for an overall trend. Let's stick with the one day for now. These are your candlesticks here. You have your depth. If you go into the advanced, then you can put some indicators and stuff like that on as well. You can change your trading pairs in this box here. Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, BNB, which is Binance's own coin, and then USDT if you want to send some of your coins into USDT. So. Then down here is the trade history. So these are all the trades that are going through on this currency pair, and this is Ethereum and Bitcoin. Then, no, my balance didn't come in yet. So you can see the market one, or you can go here to see your own history as well. Down in the orders, you have limit orders, market orders, or stop limits. So limit orders are your basic order where you can put in whatever price you are willing to, to buy at. So if we wanted to buy at, 04, which is down to $320. Hopefully we don't see that for Ethereum. Those of us that are holding, but anyone looking to buy obviously wants to get a better price. So then you come in, you put in however many you want. You can see the max amount I can buy at the minute is zero because I don't have any Bitcoin here to buy. And then you can pick 25%, 50, 75 or 100. This would auto fill the amount here based on whatever balance you have. So you can see as well, here are the charts. So you can see these are all the sell orders. These are the buy orders. So these are people who are willing to buy. These are people willing to sell. So it's your bid and your ask. Some other exchanges will refer to it as bid and ask. 
up here you have your general overview so you have your last price your 24 hour change and the high low and then the 24 hour volume so that's really it we just have to wait for the funds to come in i will show you the advanced in here so the advanced you can see you just get a bigger chart so if you're looking at putting any indicators or anything on you can see them a little bit easier here you have any open orders your order history trade history or funds that is all down the bottom here then again here is where you buy so similar to the other screen just things are in a different place so up at the top here is your summary and here is where you change the currency that you want then you have your ask your bids and then the actual full history here and then you can see your own trade history down here all right so then down here you have your limit orders your market orders is if you want to just go at i forgot to explain this on the basic but it's the exact same here if you want to buy at the market price you just put in your price in here and then the same when you want to sell if you wanted to sell your ethereum put in the amount of ethereum you want to sell one second sorry just had to take a call so that was the market order then your stop limit is basically this is a little bit more advanced it's when you want to set an order that once the market goes by a certain price you want the market to then kick in your buy or sell order so on a buy you could say that when you want when the market goes below let's take an e when it goes below 400 dollars so if it goes below 400 dollars you could then set your limit that when it comes back up to 410 you want the order to be executed and you want to buy at 410 dollars the reason you would do that is because if you thought that once it hit 400 and started to come back up that that is when you've seen the reversal that's where you can set your orders in there but them kind of orders you need to really understand the market and they are a little bit more advanced not for this beginners video i'll do another one looking at that so let's check are the funds in funds are not in just yet We'll see here not showing up deposits so we can see my point one it's got 21 of 30 confirmations that are needed I am going to pause this video until that comes back and then we will do a buy and a sell okay so now we have our ethereum is in here there's point one of an ether gone into the account so if I then go into We'll do it on the basic a lot of people might use it to get started so we'll go back into the currencies here so this is ethereum versus bitcoin let's go for something else let's go with card no it's going ethereum because i put in ethereum so you change up here between what you want the main what you want each coin to be priced against so we go with ethereum and i am going to go with cardano so you can see here this was the most recent low on the coin we are on the one hour chart you can see it has been coming up since that for this one i am going to do a basic order i'm going to put it in at the price that they have here which is the current last price three four eight three oh is the last we'll leave it at nine two that should mean that it will be executed straight away so you can see it works out the max amount of coins i can buy is 286 so you can come down here you can click 100 percent will buy you the 286 you could go 50 percent and it works it out doesn't really matter these are just handy to help you out there so we'll say 100 percent and let's see do we buy so order submitted should see it appearing in oh no so it went straight to it went straight to the order history because it got filled straight away if you put in an order that was say i put in the order that was below the market price so i put in an order down around here then it would have went into open and it would have stayed there until it was filled or until i cancelled it so you can see i now own 285.7714 um, cardano so what you want to do then is if you want to sell the cardano you can come in here Put in whatever price you're willing to sell at i am going to let's do the market price just so i can let's do what did i buy it for i bought it for three four eight nine two three four eight 
before. So let's sell it. Sell it for slightly higher just so I can show you an open order. So three, four, it's at three, four, nine, two, two. So three, four, nine, five, oh. I'm gonna sell 100% and sell. So you can see I now have an open order here. It's gone in as a limit order, sell the price that I want to sell it at. I have put that in maybe slightly high, but at least it lets me show you the open order. So what you can do is you can cancel the order. If you see that the market isn't moving towards your price, you can cancel it here and you can put in another order, whatever way you want to do, whatever price you are willing to accept. So it's the same thing on the market order would actually sell it. So I'll do it at the market just to show you. So I'm gonna cancel the open order here. You can see it's gone down here. My sell order got canceled, which was canceled by me. I'm going into market. I'm going to sell 100%. It's going to sell them at whatever the price it can get on the market. So it sold at the market price. It gave me back, where am I, nine put, 0 0.09928. So you could see there, I met a slight loss on that, but who cares, this is an example. Realistically, I don't really use the market price. I use the limit price. I set the price that I am willing to accept as the price I will sell my coins or tokens for, or the price that I am willing to pay in order to get coins or tokens. So that's really it. That's the basics of it. There is more in depth. Maybe I'll do a more in depth video on Binance, but hopefully this has been a good introduction for anyone that is new. I will put a link to Binance down below, as well as that Binance does offer, actually, yeah, I didn't show you this page. If you come back here to the main Binance screen, you can see the overview of all the different coins. So it's easier to see them all here. You can come in, you can look at the 24 hour change. What is the biggest gains or the biggest losers? The, vo <clears throat> excuse me, the 24 hour high, low, and then the volume can be important depending on what type of trader you are. If you're looking for quick trades in and out, then something that has a lot of volume is going to suit you. Again, you can add any of these to your favorites. So then you just have your favorites so you can only see what your favorites are each time. It's just quicker, but that's about it guys. There are different things to explain about Binance. I'll do them in another video. Hope this has been useful. Give the video a like, give it a share. If you found it really useful, you feel it can help others and I will talk to you guys soon. Also, don't forget to subscribe if this is the first of my videos you've seen. Thanks for watching, guys.